So Dr. Campbell, many people believe that too many calories in the American diet come from meat. What do the data show? The data show that about 30% of calories that people typically consume are from animal-based products, including red meats. Uh, but the majority of calories come from plant-based sources, uh, including fruits and vegetables and uh, grains especially, and as well as processed and, and refined sugars. When we hear that we need to reduce meat consumption because we're over-consuming it, does that jive with actual consumption data? For the vast majority of people in the United States, it does not jive with uh, consumer data. The strongest data support that most Americans uh, consume a reasonable amount of red meat uh, as part of uh, an overall, um, their overall diet. One of the recommendations of the dietary guidelines is to consume nutrient-dense foods. What are nutrient-dense foods and how do meats fit into that category? Nutrient-dense foods, uh, it's, it's its own definition. Uh, it's when you, for a given number of calories, a given amount of food that you eat, how many nutrients that are essential for your body to function properly are contained in those foods. So for example, if you're consuming uh, uh, a, a piece of red meat that is lean, it has uh, good sources of uh, health-promoting uh, unsaturated and monounsaturated fatty acids, it contains vitamin B12 and it contains zinc, uh, it contains all of the amino acids that your body needs in order to be able to build proteins uh, in your muscles and throughout your body. That's, uh, a, that really qualifies meat as a uh, nutrient-dense food. Well, based upon your nutrition expertise, what's your best advice for consumers? Eating a variety of foods is essential to getting all of the nutrients that your body needs. For most people, and in particular 88% of the American population that consume red meats on a regular basis. That includes not a, a variety of protein-rich foods. Protein-rich foods may be red meat, may be poultry, it may be eggs, it may be uh, some nuts and seeds, uh, it may be soy. It's a diversity of foods that all provide the essential nutrients for your body to be healthy. In the case of red meat, red meat is a particularly nutrient-dense food because it contains all of the essential amino acids. It's a high-protein food. It is a food that has uh, a, a lot of monounsaturated fatty acids, which are considered to be health-promoting, as well as uh, uh, selected uh, vitamins and minerals, including iron, zinc, and vitamin B12.